Hi everyone, this is Marjorie. I am here to give you um, a little uh, idea for what to do when you get the keto flu. Um, first of all, I would like to welcome you to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. I know sometimes you think you're subscribed and you're really not. So um, I would appreciate that. I, I love all my viewers that comment and thank you so much. Okay, now, I call this my keto flu beverage. This is really excellent for restoring um, electrolytes to our body because <clears throat> when we're in the keto, when we're in ketosis and you're on the ketogenic diet slash lifestyle, what happens is that as we're losing weight, um, we're, our body is flushing a lot of fat out. That's why it's really important to drink a lot of water so that we don't tax our kidneys and our liver. So anyway, one of the things that I found, because we're flushing so much through, uh, one thing that's really important is to make sure that we're not um, robbing our bodies of the minerals that they need. Um, like, um, for, one, for one thing, on a lot of diets, uh, most, most diets, in fact, they tell you to restrict your salt, but that's not the case on the ketogenic diet. So first of all, I'm just gonna go through the items that I put in and um, tell you what I make and how it works for me. So here goes. The first item that I love um, is a product called Natural Calm. I'm trying to make sure you can see that. It's uh, by Natural Vitality. This one is a raspberry lemon flavor and I'm gonna hold that there so you can read it if you'd like. Um, it says the serving size is two teaspoons. And it says it's an anti-stress drink. Basically, it's a magnesium supplement. <clears throat> I love this. I love the flavor of it. I've been using it for a long time before I was even on a ketogenic diet. But um, I realized I need magnesium. So I put a teaspoon of that in my glass of water. Um, I actually use warm water to make this. I will fill my cup up half full with warm water. I use a glass, or around here we use mason jars for glasses. Uh, we live in the mountains, seems kind of appropriate. So um, I fill it up about halfway with warm water. That way these dissolve rapidly. The next thing I add is potassium citrate powder, which I purchase from Amazon. Uh, it's 100% food pharma grade potassium citrate. Helps lower blood pressure, helps increase calcium in bones. I put just a scant teaspoon of that in. Now, of course, magnesium and potassium, potassium <laughs> work hand in hand. So another thing that I know really helps, and I don't have just plain zinc. I need to do some more research and find some, but. I kind of have something I love that I use instead, so I really haven't bothered. Good old Airborne. Airborne has zinc, which is one of the reasons it combats cold so rapidly, if you catch them in time. 13 vitamins, minerals, and herbs, plus a blast of vitamin C. Well, all of those work synergistically when you have vitamin C. One more thing I put in my little beverage, shake of sea salt, just like when you your kids drink Powerade or whatever. It has a salty, sweet flavor. Put a squeeze of a half a lemon. I just cut it in half and squeeze a little in. And then my last thing, whatever your favorite sweetener is, I use Stevia in the raw. It's convenient. I buy a giant box full of it on Amazon. I stir that all up. It fizzes and fizzes and dissolves. And as soon as it's dissolved, if it's warm, I add some water and ice cubes. If it's cold, I just drink it warm and it's really a nice beverage. I drink it right before I go to bed, not sometimes within an hour or so before I go to bed because it can actually, hence the name of the first product, Calm. It's a very calming drink. Uh, the benefits I found are I get no muscle cramps. When I first started, I did research on this. There's a lot of recipes for keto flu lemonade type of thing. I wanted one that included vitamin C and uh, my nickname used to be Grandma C because 
when my kids would call and say that one of the little babies were sick, not babies, but toddlers, I'd say, put some vitamin C crystals in their juice or whatever. That'll help to stop the sniffles. Anyway, no muscle cramps. I get no, I've gotten no nausea, which is a real big side effect of the keto flu, and no congestion, no runny nose, none of that. Um, another thing, this doesn't affect my ketosis, all of these items. Now, that's not saying it won't affect yours. Try it. If you slow down on the weight loss, then play with the formula. I kind of just threw all these things in and it worked for me and I do it almost every day. Um, but I'm not a doctor. I don't play one on TV. <laughs> so if you have any health problems, you know that. And if you don't know that, um, but you're not feeling real well, and you know, don't go on the ketogenic diet without checking with your doctor. And um, at least do your own research and know your own body and know what you've got. I hope this helps somebody as much as it's helped me. I love this. I think it really made uh, getting into ketosis and this whole lifestyle very enjoyable for me. Um, if you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed yet, even if you think you are, look and see. And if you're not subscribed yet, please sub. I'd love all of my viewers and commenters. And this is just a fun thing I do. I don't make any money. I just like to try to help somebody with this. Um, and please leave me a comment. Let me know how this worked for you. Thanks so much. Bye now.